2019 was the International Year of the Salmon, an opportunity to showcase Lake Champlain's landlocked Atlantic salmon and the work being done to protect and restore its habitat. The peak of the year-long celebration in the Champlain Basin was a salmon festival held in Richmond, Vermont. We're celebrating the return of wild Atlantic salmon to the Champlain Basin. People might not know about it if we didn't make a pretty big deal about it. It's really fun to have everybody here in one place, you know, talking about it through the lens of their expertise. Events like this where people help us to connect the dots between our decisions and the things that we care about are really helpful. I'm especially excited that my son got to see that model down there. We spend a lot of time on the lake, we spend a lot of time on the rivers, swimming, paddle boarding, but my son is six and it's hard to understand how that, that works. And so to actually see the model and connect it to things that he sees every day and what happens to all of those things in terms of the rivers and the lakes, I think is pretty cool. And I know that he'll remember that next time we're at the lake and at the river or picking up dog poop. The event was organized by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the Champlain Valley National Heritage Partnership. The public immersed themselves in the issues that impact salmon and learned about the work being done to restore this important fishery. Local organizations offered introductions to recreational activities such as canoeing, fly tying, and fly casting. A lot of this is, is very interesting for people to uh, witness firsthand uh, maybe for the first time, uh, casting a fly rod is a lot different from spin casting with a lure. Tying your own flies to hopefully catch a fish has its own rewards. Using a fly rod somehow puts you in touch with nature in a very private, meditative way. We've had a lot of folks from the community come by and some from further away, but um, getting kids interested, they really love the live fish that we have here. It's really been a big attraction. We brought our model stream table here today. And the stream table demonstrates how water works, how water moves across the land, how it erodes stream banks and infrastructure. It helps people start to think about the impact that their land has on the water. Because if you live in this watershed, your land is affecting the water. So. The celebration culminated on the Huntington River, where a delighted group of children and their parents released juvenile salmon to begin their journey to Lake Champlain. A lot of folks don't even know that we have salmon in Lake Champlain, and um, kind of getting that awareness out, then they can be conscious of it, and then they can um, know that they're, the conservation efforts that we try to get people to do are for a reason. They're for the salmon, for the other fish in the river, and they make a difference.